know we should delve into the player analysis on the new Raphael Marquis and whether he is worth the massive, well not a massive, but a price that we have to pay for this man. So let's jump straight into this one here then. So Marquis is six foot medium high, three star, four star, right footed and mostly lengthy. That's an ideal start boys, I won't lie, that's very, very nice. We can play CDM or centre mid, so we'll be discussing whether he fits into either of those roles, if any, later. Um... And he doesn't have great links with his hero card, but that doesn't matter too much. We've got 83 pace, which is very good. 99 long shots and 99 shot power. That's cool. Um, but I don't... Hmm, I don't think that's centre mid worthy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think you could go for him at centre mid, but I think there's definitely better options. So if you're doing him to play him centre mid, not CDM, don't bother. Uh, just figure out someone else to do because there's no point. He's not going to be like a a, a 90 rate centre mid there. Passing, it's, it's um well, although it says 82, it's much better than that. that. Uh, excuse me. Great dribbling there. Very, very nice. Defending, brilliant. Physicality, brilliant. We've got dead ball plus. Tick attacker, long ball pass, block. Jockey anticipate plus. Is he better as a centre back? I think he might be better as a centre back, lads. I think he does a job at CDM and he does a, a good job at centre back as well. Then what we got? We got 85, 86, 87, and 88 with both team of the weeks on there. So not too expensive, boys. I don't think that's too much to ask for at this stage of the game. You've got 60 days to do him. I think that's a really well priced SBC and a really, really good card. I think everyone should be trying to complete him.